no work is done for the following conditions. Firstly, when no force is applied, then there will be no work done. During the uniform motion, the net force is equal to zero. So W equal to Fs, then the work done is zero. If there is no displacement, even we apply a lot of force on it, the work done will also be zero. And the most tricky one is when the applied force is perpendicular to the displacement, there is also no work done. For example, if we apply the force upward carrying two heavy luggage to move horizontally, because the force is perpendicular to the displacement, the work done is also zero. And we will look, take a look on the force and displacement graph. For the force and displacement graph, if you look at the area, which is the force times the displacement, that is the work done. So the area under the force displacement graph is actually the work done of the object. So area under the force displacement graph is equal to the work done by the force. It is uh, very useful in some situation. For example, in the following situation, you can see in the graph, in this case, the area is equal to the work done. And because you can see in this graph, the force is not a constant. So the W equals to Fs equation cannot be directly used in this situation. So the area equals work done is useful in this case. In this example, we will see a person apply the force on the block and move in a uniform velocity on the horizontal floor. And firstly, let's try to sketch the variation of the applied force against the displacement, which is the force and displacement graph. So the vertical axis is the force, and the horizontal axis is the displacement. Firstly, we have to find the displacement by speed equal to distance over time. We can find out the distance travel by the person, which is the displacement in this situation. So because the force is constant, so we can directly draw a horizontal line in this situation. And what is the net force acting on the block? Because the block is moved in a uniform velocity, that means there is no acceleration. In this case, the net force must be zero. And then the last part, how about the work done of this person? When we have the force displacement graph, we can consider the area under the force displacement graph, which is the work done. So we can simply get the answer.